Hello, hi, how are you doing? How is life? Good, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> so, last week we um, concluded our Disney Channel original movies. And this week, along the same vein, we're going to go for top 10 Disney Channel TV shows in the early 2000s. The early 2000s was my prime. I was a child then um and a lot of these like I was obsessed with all of these shows that I'm about to talk about and it's just it was a really good time and it was really good memories I'm so sorry you did just did that um so yeah I'm super excited about this one so at number 10 is Kim Possible at that ran from 2002 to 2007 um I, I loved it obviously or else it wouldn't be on this list I absolutely loved that show um yeah I just I loved that she was oh spoilers ahead I just I just loved that she was a cheerleader and like a normal girl by day and then by night she was a BA teen fighter who fought off bad guys. I just, I thought it was the best thing ever. Number nine is Philip the Future, which ran from 2004 to 2006. I loved this TV show purely because of the future aspect. Um, I just thought it was so cool, like all of their cool gadgets that they had that they brought from the future. Um, yeah, and all of that, like I... I'm still trying to work out, but I was trying to work out how Keely was going to make it to the 21st century when it was like early 2000s. I was just like, I'm not sure how that works, but okay. Um, number eight is Sweet Life on Deck, which ran from 2008 to 2011. Um, honestly, when this came out, I was so excited that I was not going to lose the Spouse Twins, that they, that that show was going to live on for a little bit longer. Um, I was really sad that their mom and Arwen and like some of the, and Maddie weren't gonna be on that show. Um, but I was really happy with the cat, the, the people who carried over from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody onto Sweet Life on Deck. I kind of thought it was a cool idea with a, um, like having your school on a boat but I would have never done it because I am terrified of deep water and boats. So, yeah. Number seven was Sunny with a Chance, which ran from 2009 to 2011. Honestly, guys, I'm going to be real with you. I only watched this show for Demi Lovato. Um, and then I just, I fell in love with it. I liked that it was uh, behind the scenes of like a sketch show and like what went on and that it was like teens. And I just, I loved it. Number six is Jonas, which ran from 2009 to 2010, um, and obviously <laughs> I didn't watch it for the great writing, I watched it for the Jonas Brothers. I was so excited that they were getting their own TV show, and I just, like, I ate it up, like, I was, like, real, really, really super, like, fan crazy into the Jonas Brothers at that point. Like, I still love the Jonas Brothers, they're still my favorite band. But I, now that I'm an adult, I understand that they're just people too. It's just that their job makes them recognizable around the world. Whereas my job only makes me recognizable in the town that I'm in. Um, and also, um, from their documentary on Amazon Prime, go watch that. I did learn that they, they did not have a good time on the show. Like, they just, they didn't want, really want to do it. And so... Yeah, it kind of changed the show a little bit, but I still loved it, and I still love it. Um, number five is That's So Raven, which ran from 2003 to 2007. Um, I loved the concept that she was a normal teenage girl who got visions, but she had to hide that she had visions because that's not normal, and that made hijinks ensue and she got in all these crazy situations and she had all these crazy um, disguises and I just ate that up when I was little. Um, number four is Hannah Montana which ran from 2006 to 2011. I 
was so upset when Hannah Montana like ended but I was so happy when I heard that Hannah Montana forever was coming out for like a season um yeah so sorry I was trying I'm trying to hide the camera strap from my cat because he's in a playful mood right now um anyway so I just loved again that she was like a normal girl and then she turned her into a rock star like I loved that concept like I in my head was like formulating how I could do that um, obviously it didn't work out, but hey, that's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I loved it, and I loved that, um, hijinks also ensued because she was living a double life. Um, number three is Wizards of Waverly Place, which ran from 2007 to 2011, or 2012, so sorry. Um, again, <sighs> watched it for Selena Gomez, um... I think, yeah, or I don't know, yeah, I watched it for Selena Gomez because I thought she was really pretty. Um, and again, they're normal kids, but secretly they're wizards and they can't tell anybody. Um, and I was also so, so, so sad when that ended um, because it was one of my favorite shows and I loved it. But, um, yeah, and I always, like, wondered who would win of the three Russo siblings for all their powers and honestly I don't remember how it ended. I'm gonna have to go rewatch that. Number two is Sweet Life of Zack and Cody which basically the premise I thought it was so cool because when I was younger I loved staying in ho I loved staying in hotels. I mean I still do like it's it's nice to stay in a hotel like I don't really like, I get this one room to all to myself, and I don't really have to worry about cleaning because there's room service. Like, obviously, I don't trash the place, like, but, like, I don't have to make the bed. I don't have to, like, clean the toilet. I hate cleaning bathrooms. Hate it. Um, obviously, if I, like, make a big mess, I'm going to clean it up. But it's nice to live in a hotel, and the idea of, like, living, living in a hotel was so cool to the little baby Megan, like... I wanted to do that so super bad and I just I thought their hotel suite was so cool um and then I had a crush on the Sprouse twins growing up me and my best friend whose name also happens to be Megan um had a plan we were gonna grow up we we're gonna meet the Sprouse twins I got Cole she got Dylan we were gonna live happily ever after marry them have kids everything um it was it was a whole thing obviously it didn't work out but Hey, I and personally think I be met somebody better. I mean, I don't personally know the Sprouse twins, so maybe I didn't. I don't know, but hey, whatever. Um, and then number one is Lizzie McGuire, which ironically I did not wear this shirt today because I was doing this video. I wore this shirt today because I wanted to wear it, but I have Lizzie McGuire merch on. It's called outfit repeater and it's this like long sleeve like it's super light it's got a hood it's from um lost bros i will tag their um instagram and their uh, website in the descriptions um but yeah they had a whole line they had like sweatpants i think maybe they came out with like shorts and like maybe like a short sleeve t-shirt like it was a whole thing um and i got this and i got the sweats Excuse me, I do not have the sweats on today, honest, actually. Um, but anyway, Lizzie McGuire was like my absolute favorite because Lizzie McGuire, no offense to all of the other shows, like I love them, but she was like the normal one. Like she didn't have any secret power, she didn't have a secret life, she was just a normal teenager trying to navigate growing up with her best friends. Like she didn't live in a hotel suite. She didn't. She wasn't a wizard. She wasn't a pop star. She wasn't a psychic. She wasn't on TV. She wasn't from the future and she wasn't a crime fighter. She was just a normal teenage girl navigating life, growing up in all the awkwardness and I loved it and I love her and I was so excited when I heard that they were rebo re rebooting it and then I was so devastated when I heard that they canceled the reboot and so I'm hoping that they can get another reboot out there somehow like 
that would be like the best thing ever but if not I also I understand so Lizzie McGuire top favorite Disney Channel TV show in the 2000s absolutely loved it purely because she was just a normal girl and I had the hugest crush on Matt like he was one of my first like him and Draco Malfoy were my first two um, celebrity crushes um, and yeah so like I said that was my list of TV shows I loved in the early 2000s let me know down below if you're old enough what your favorite D Disney Channel TV shows were in the 2000s and hey maybe you're not you didn't watch them when they came out and you watched them on Disney Plus so if you did and you're like 12 or you're like I don't know 18 still let me know down below but if you're my age if you're around the age of 26 let me know the ones you loved when you were growing up um if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to stick around and see more of my videos hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every single Friday at 4. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week ahead and I hope to see your beautiful faces next week. Bye guys!